What's up GeForce fans? I'm Brandon from NVIDIA and we've got something really special for you today. I'm sure by now most of you have heard the news about our brand new GeForce RTX GPUs. We announced them in Cologne, Germany just before Gamescom and now they're just about to hit the shelves. Today, we're gonna open up a GeForce RTX 2080 in a special unboxing video direct from NVIDIA headquarters. This is a brand new line of gaming GPUs based on our new AI-enabled Turing architecture. They're gonna enable more beautiful, real-time ray trace graphics and give you a noticeable boost in performance. There are already over 30 game titles coming out that will take advantage of GeForce RTX to bring you incredible enhanced graphics that right now only NVIDIA can deliver, including AAA titles like Battlefield V and Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Now let's take a look at the RTX 2080. First, you notice the box. At first glance, there's the familiar size and shape, and we have the black, gray, and green artwork. The new RTX line has changed the way GeForce is styled. We're not seeing the more aggressive, triangle-based artwork we saw in the design of our 10 series cards. This is a more streamlined, almost hypnotic, sleek design. We'll see in a bit how this design has been pulled from the backplate of the 2080, but you also see this series of repeated, angled lines as a feature of our Turing and RTX products. Now, let's open it up. There we go, our first look at the card. The inside of the box was modeled on the box design of our recent Titan XP Star Wars Edition cards. With a pedestal-like foam cradle that carries the card, it's a real nice bit of industrial design that feels like it should be on display. Now let's remove the card from the plastic and set it aside for a second. Real quickly, let's take a look at the accessory box, which has been designed to be flush with the foam insert, no higher than the edge of the box. Opening this up reveals all the documents and other necessary items you'll need for installation, including a display port to DVI-D dongle, quick start guide, and support guide. The last several GeForce Founders Edition models came with a single fan, but the obvious first thing you're gonna notice here is the dual axial 13 blade fan array. These are powered by three phase motors, which limit vibrational noise and result in a quieter performance. The dual fans are the most visible part of the thermal management system, and they're connected to a brand new vapor chamber design, which itself is quite a feat of engineering. It's the world's first full-length GPU vapor chamber, and it covers the entirety of the PCB. The vapor chamber is designed to keep the card as cool as possible by spreading heat transfer across a wider surface area to the aluminum fin array. All of this combined makes RTX cards the coolest, quietest, and most efficient cards we've ever made. When you combine the system with the card's all-new 13-phase power supply, the factory overclocked GeForce RTX 2080 provides 225 watts of power out of the box. The casing is super impressive too. It's a forged, machine-finished, die-cast aluminum form that wraps around the PCB like a continuous curved shield. Now let's take a look at the display output. There are three DisplayPort outputs with full support for DisplayPort 1.4, which will allow you to drive an 8K monitor at 60 hertz with a single connector. You'll also see an HDMI 2.0B output here and a USB Type-C connector for next-gen VR headsets. Now here's the backplate I mentioned earlier. See the design here? That's the unique GeForce RTX identity, and it's some of the only design on this very low-profile, ultra-modern looking card. This design is echoed on the sides of the card, and it provides the frame around our iconic LED-lit GeForce logo on the side. It's a beautiful and powerful new entry into our GPU lineup, and we'll be showing it off lots more on this channel, with upcoming GeForce Garage builds, powering upcoming gameplay demos, and especially we'll have titles with real-time ray tracing. Hope you enjoyed this unboxing. We'll see you next time.